All right, so in this episode of Mental Essential Gentlemen, in this very short episode of Mental Essential Gentlemen, I'll be sharing you my process, rather I'll be showing you how I add some decent volume to my hair. I mean, I have already made this video a lot in the past. I have already covered this topic around three or four times in the past. But hey, you clearly wanted to see a new one. You wanted to see a fresh new video on the mighty volume. Nothing major has changed. The process is still the same. It's just that I have got a whole lot more faster and efficient with the same thing. So in this episode of Mental Essential Gentlemen, I'll be sharing you my process of how do you add some decent volume to your hair. My name is Vangal Acharya. This is Mental Essentials. I almost forgot that. Let's roll the intro. So three or four things that you must keep in mind prior adding some volume to your hair is one the perfect hair length two using the right hair products and three getting the volume right if you have a lot of dense volume on your head like on top of your head in your head then it will be a whole lot more difficult for the blow dryer to act and add the volume appropriately if you have the perfect volume if you have the perfect density then it will be a whole lot more easier and faster for you to get the job done now i have been using hair products for a very long period of time i have been using pre stylers and hair sprays and waxes for a very long period of time. I used to use this, but now I have switched to the sea salt spray. This will be coming soon on TMB store sometime in late February or early March, so stay tuned for that. So as of now, as of the last six, seven months, I have been using sea salt spray as the pre-styling hair product for my hair volume, for the mighty volume on my hair. So I'll be using the same thing in this tutorial as well. I'll be using a blow dryer, I'll be using some hairspray, and I'll be using my beloved matte separation. These are the few things that I use on a daily basis and I even use a straightening iron because I have very straight hair <laughs> and straight hair is probably the most difficult thing to style or add some volume to so I'll be using a whole lot of things I'll be using all these things to add some volume to my hair so step number one is going out and getting your hair wet now I'll be doing it right after my shower so it'll be a whole lot more easier faster and smoother for me you see this is how my hair looks like this is how my hair feels like this is how my hair is when it is not styled and done properly so what I'll be doing now is I'll be applying some sea salt spray and get the hair ready for the mighty blow drying process now yes there are some ways where you might not need a blow dryer there are some hair type or hair texture that can work perfectly fine without even using a blow dryer I and mean, there are some methods to it but if you are someone like me who has very thick straight hair or if you are someone with very curly or very wavy hair it will be very difficult for you to get the volume right without using a blow dryer so i don't know why people don't recommend this enough i don't know why people aren't why you aren't using it till now get a blow dryer in case you haven't gentlemen this is like the perfect hair tool in your hair arsenal so i'll be using this once i'm done hair spraying my hair with the sea salt spray and then i'll be putting it on full speed and medium heat setting and I'll start to blow dry my hair. Now the thing that I want you to keep in mind here is the way I'm blow drying my hair. You know I'm not blow drying it from the front, I'm blow drying it from the back because I want the volume right up front so I'll be using a whole lot of blow drying from the front, from the back to the front like I'll be adding a whole lot of air this way so that I can have the volume here when I would want and wherever I would want it to be. So once I'm done blow drying my hair from the back fair bit, I'll start to blow dry my hair from the opposite side of my current hairstyle. Meaning if my hairstyle has a parting like this, I'll start blow drying the hair from the opposite direction first, from this direction first. Now this is so because I would want to add that volume. We are all here for the mighty volume. Blow drying it from the opposite direction, just like the way we blow dried it from the behind, we'll be blow drying it from the opposite direction of our part to add the volume to the side where we need it the most. Once we are done blow drying our hair from the opposite directions, be it from the back or from the opposite side of our part, now we can start blow drying the hair on the direction where we'll be actually styling it and parting it the right way. Now I part my hair like so, therefore I'll start blow drying my hair in this given direction once i'm done with that once i see the given volume is already there i can add the mighty tool called a straightening iron now the reason i use a straightening iron is because i would want my hair to be a bit more wavier than what it is it's a whole lot more easier for your hair to be styled and have the epic volume if your hair is naturally on the wavier side i mean if you're someone like aaron marino or alex costa who has a whole lot more waves in their hair then it will be a whole lot more easier for you to have that epic volume in your hair without doing a whole lot of things i am not that lucky my hair is not that lucky so i'll have to do this i'll have to add some more volume i'll have to add some waves with this so that i can add the final volume 
with the wax and the hairspray in it. So, like I said, using the straightening iron, styling the hair on the direction of the part and on the direction where I want it to style. Now, once I'm done with that, I'll take out my mat separation, I'll take out my hair wax and start applying it from the back. I'll start applying it from the opposite side of the part because we want the volume, therefore the same logic that we used in our blow drying process. I apply the wax like that, then I'll apply it back again to the way I want it to style. I mean, in the direction of the part that I want it to style and I'll try to get the style right. Once I'm satisfied with the style, once I've got the style locked in, I'll use the mighty hard head to lock my hair and have it like so for the next 15, 16 hours of my life. Short, easy, efficient. That's how I do my hair. That's how I add the volume to my hair. In case you want to see more such hair tutorials, don't forget to let me know in the comment section box. And in case you want to get any one of these, you can do that by checking out the links in the description box down below. Now, I'll get back to work. I'll probably make a whole lot more videos about hair and then I'll see you soon in the next one. My name is Mangoda Saira. Thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to dress up, stay strong and stay stylish. Don't forget to watch all our previous hair videos by clicking the index card right here. I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.